This video is recorded to help my students to understand the point. Ah,、uh, students should understand the point. Always hold the dress. So, for example, if we declare integer star x, so this means x, ah,、uh, will be an integer point. So that means it will hold the address of some memory that store an integer. At this point, the x has not be initialized because you just ah、uh, uh, this declaration just say you associate with、uh, a memory with name x memory unit with name x, and in that memory unit you will store the address of another memory with unit which is will store integer value. So. To initialize it, you can say this. You can say x equal new integer. Now, in this case, this new will create、uh, will reserve a memory unit that will store a integer, new integer. Say that, and that address will be returned to x. So that means x will store that address. So you you want if you want to say what will be. The value of x, you can just say C out x. Now pay attention. This C out x is the value stored in the x, which will be a memory address. Let us run this. See what happen. You will say the result is this. You say this is a hexadecimal, which exactly is the memory address. So x itself is a memory address. Then, if you want to, uh, okay, we don't care about this memory address. We care about in that memory address what integer value store in it. If you want to assign that integer value, then you have to, uh, assign integer in that uh memory. You will say, for example, star x equal ten. Now, this star, you need to know. At the beginning, when you first declare declare a point variable, this star indicates this variable is a point variable. After declaration, this star is called dereference, which means star x, which means the value in the memory that the x point to. So star that that means star x equal ten, which means I want to put a ten in the memory that the x point point to. So equivalent say in this memory address. You will have, ah,、uh, you will store integer value ten inside. In this case, if you want to print out the value in that memory address, you will say C out, ah,、uh, star x. Now, if you run the program, you will print out ten. So if I run the program, it will print out ten. Okay, so now. You also can let x point to different memory. For example, if I say integer y equal ten, now, uh, in this case, you declare integer variable named y equivalent to you associate memory with name y. Then, in that memory, you store the integer value ten. Now, if you want to load this memory address, you can do this. You say see out the address of y. Okay. Now, let let's do this. The address of y is you use this notation to show the address of y. Now, if I print out、uh, the result, you will say the address of y is a not not a hex a、uh, value is the address of y. Now, in this case, you can assign. The address of y to x, so x equal、uh, address of y. Now in this in this case before do、uh, in this case, pay attention. The memory before x point to immediate loss is reference. That means you reserve a memory you because you call new reserve a memory. That memory store integer. You assign ten inside, which use x to refer to it. X hold its address, but if you reassign X value, that means X hold another, a different memory address. So the original memory unit lost his reference. In this, in this case, in C plus plus, he suggests you 
if it's a dynamic memory loss address, you want the loss address, you probably want to delete first. So I delete x, that means return the memory back. Okay? Now, then I can use x to hold a new memory address. In this case, if I want to print out the x value, you will find his value is the address of y now. Then if you want to print out the value in that address, you will find that is the value of the y's value, which is 10. Now let, let me put a y as 100, okay? So then in this case, you will print out a 100. Let us run the program. Now you can predict the program what ha happened. At the first, you will print out the address of uh, this in, uh, dynamically created integer uh, reserve the memory for energy, you will print out that address. Then you will assign 10 to that memory unit. Then you will print out the value in that memory unit, which will be 10. Then you declare an, another integer variable y, which means you so associate a memory unit with name y. Then you print out the y's address. Then you return the original new integer data dynamic memory back to the computer. So x don't refer to anything now but you assign y's address to x, now x refer to y. Then you print out the x value, which will be the address of y's value. Then you print out the value in the uh, memory that x point to, then it will print out the y's value, which is 100. So let us run this program. If you look at the result, you will say, these two memory addresses are the same. The memory address of y, and the value in x because you assign x to the uh, you assign the address of y to the x. Okay, then you also will say uh, one hundred, which is you see out star x. Star x is the value in the memory that the x refer to. That memory is the memory associated with name y. Okay, let me stop here and get your feedback. If you have any questions, please give me an email.